is appealing about the trailer? It's kind of think now. Um, appealing, it, it again like the last last film we watched it. It was it ha it showed you a lot of the story, but not all of it. It kept some things away, so that you would want to go out and watch the rest of the film, so mm -hmm. that you could see all um, the like testers. Yeah. It actually doesn't uh, explain the main uh, feature. Yeah, you don't really. You, you don't know what they're doing, really. It, there's a mention of the Holy Grail, but you're not mm. quite sure exactly how much that features. I echo that. You know, the trailer said enough about the film, so you knew what you were going to watch. So you know, exactly going to waste ten quid on your tickets if you. If you really? Use. Ten pound? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not, you're not going to. Um, you're not going to go and waste however much money it costs on tickets, knowing, uh, not knowing what you're going to watch. Like you could, you, if, you, if you know what you're going to watch from the trailer, you're pretty much dead certain that you want to watch it, you know, not that you're going to waste your money on it. Okay. What is the most memorable part of the trailer? Um, probably some of the jokes. Um, like when they got spun around into that extra room, into a room of fire, Sean Connery just turned around and said, well, our situation hasn't improved. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's really simple humour, but it works and it's just really funny. There's a few others as well, um, which just, yeah, just really stuck out in my mind to remember the film. For me, it was the, the bit where they're in a cave and the woman falls and Indiana goes to catch her. And then you see, you see the um, like rocks start to fall away and that really gives an air of tension. But, mm. And you want it makes you want to see. It make you make it, you think of it because you want to see if they survive or you know what, mm. what what the result of that is. Yeah. How did it compare to your expectations? In terms of expectations, um, obviously I've not seen any of the Indiana, any Indiana Jones films. So I don't know what to expect from them. Mm. Um, so in that sense, there was no expectation for me. Really. I was just open to anything. What do you think of the actual trailer then? What do you think the film is? Uh, I think the film's obviously an action film. Um, after watching the trailer, you know, seeing lots of um, gun wars and stuff like that. But I think it's more based on a, a comedy, a comedy action genre, because, oh, obviously because of all the jokes put in. Um, so in that sense, because I knew in hindsight it was going to be about action, it did meet the expectations in that sense, because it showed that it is actually an action film. Um, I've seen all. Oh. The Indiana Jones films I grew up on. Them. I no longer yeah. know you. <laughs> I grew up on them. So, I I knew that it was going to be some great adventure. It was going to be history based because that's what the other Indiana Jones films are like. And but it, in the films, it doesn't. That bit isn't boring, and the trailer like helped that along. It, it made you seem it it sort of um, gathered an interest in what was happening. In it was fast paced like the like the film would be as well. Okay. What aspects of the trailer did you like and dislike? We like obviously like the comedy and yeah. the things like that. But the and I, for this one I can't think of anything that I dislike. The the uh, transitions were good and nothing irritated me. What about the narration? If I could take that yeah. one, uh, the narration I think actually works in this one. Because it isn't mm seeming to be uh, a proper full-on series action film like the the mummy trailer was so in that sense it worked because it brought through that light sense of humor that anybody could go to watch it it was related to everybody really um, and there wasn't really the time in the trailer to put the extra words in as well so just over the top because there was a lot of voices from the characters anyway having the wearing on top didn't take away anything it just in, in a way just worked properly in this one compared to the last one and like Luke as well, there's nothing I really dislike about this trailer. It all seems to work really, really well. Alright, what changes, if any, would you make? Make it modern. <laughs> um, no, put, put in the bit where... Is there a bit where... Is it that one where he destroys a, a jet plane with an it umbrella? Is. Yeah. Yeah, you should put that bit in, because that, that's just brilliant. Um, again, I've not seen the film, so I wouldn't actually know. Um, what what is missing out of it? Nineteen eighty nine. That's old. Exactly. So yeah, it's, it's one of the just, just looking at well. yeah, just looking at the date there for nineteen eighty nine. 
I wouldn't change anything particularly about the trailer because it seems to it seems to be really modern. So if it seems modern now, it must have been absolutely fantastic in its day for the so, for the viewer. So in that sense, I wouldn't change anything. It's it's timeless. It's not what it's doing. Yeah, exactly. It just works what it's supposed to do, and it it, it fits its time perfectly. Okay.